This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday evening, January 13th. I'm James Spann. Uh, rain ending. A nice day tomorrow, then a much colder Wednesday. Another shot of cold air Friday. The big challenge is maybe some snowflakes around here Wednesday morning. What's up with that? Let's go in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots as we look out the window. This afternoon, that's coming from Inverness along US 280. A little light rain there. It's almost over. Pretty much the same story in downtown Jasper in Walker County. The rain is in the process of ending at mid-afternoon. And a wet January day on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's our sky cam at the Phoenix All Suites, where rain is falling steadily there. Big long-wave trough coming in from the west. Nice dynamic support for the rain today, but you can see at uh, 228 when this uh, frame was taken, the rain has ended pretty much along and north of Interstate 59. And that uh, rain to the south and east will exit the state later this evening. And really, tomorrow is going to be a nice day uh, with a high in the upper 50s, maybe touching 60 in spots. Today, temperatures very uniform with clouds and rain. Most locations sitting right around 50 degrees at mid-afternoon. But again, warmer tomorrow than sharply colder Wednesday. You can see that new surge of colder air nosing down into Minnesota and North Dakota. A good old Alberta clipper. Those tend to originate up in the province of Alberta, Canada. And we have two of those on the way, one for Wednesday, one for Friday, and each one will pull down cold air. With that first clipper, we've got winter weather advisories up north, parts of the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Things are quiet down here. Rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday evening. And not very much. That's basically what's left of today. And uh, maybe a touch of light rain tomorrow night. And, of course, this is the big question mark now. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow between tomorrow evening and Wednesday evening. And all of a sudden, you've got these 20% uh, uh, probabilities down into the northeastern corner of Alabama. As some of the guidance has come in this morning, a little more aggressive with snow. So who knows? Maybe some of our friends up on uh, Lookout in Sand Mountain will have a dusting or maybe a half inch or something up there uh, early Wednesday. The high terrain, mainly above 1,000 feet. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS. You can see the energy diving down from the northwest, the clipper. And again, this is valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And down below that, a really nice day here. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, sunny. Uh, we start the day in the, uh, I'd say around 40, and the high should be in the upper 50s to near 60. Just nice. But again, that compact surface low with the clipper is near Chicago with a trailing front. And then look at here. Wednesday, the clipper comes in, and the GFS clearly is more aggressive with some snow with this feature. And again, this is a system that comes in from the northwest. It's not a Gulf of Mexico system, so traditionally they don't have a lot of moisture to work with, but they can produce surprises from time to time. Um, take a look at the North American mesoscale model. This is at midday on Wednesday, and it's got a little light snow falling here and again no doubt we're going to have snow flurries the question is can we have heavier snow showers which is what this is suggesting and maybe the possibility for a dusting to one half inch kind of thing especially up in northeast alabama uh, this is the snow cover off the uh, nam while we're looking at that uh, and you can see it's trying to put down a dusting around birmingham kind of in an odd uh, northwest to southeast strip there but again it's not that odd with the clipper that's the way they move um this is the european snow cover wednesday nothing nary a thing however the gfs puts down a little dusting across the northern half of alabama and really that, that looks a little overdone i think after looking at all this this morning uh, again we're just going to mention snow flurries or snow showers wednesday uh, morning and uh, if there's any light accumulation, the better chance with that it would be up in the, the uh, northeast Alabama mountains, mainly above 1,000 feet, especially over Jackson, Marshall, and DeKalb counties. And we can kind of fine-tune that as we go. But clearly, the big story is going to be at colder air coming in here. We'll have a hard time reaching the low 40s with a good uh, west to northwest wind to make it feel colder. Okay, this is Thursday, and the Thursday morning is going to be cold. Uh, the GFS has us at 21 to start the day, but the high should be around 50. We'll warm up, and the sky should be sunny on Thursday. But by golly, another clipper on Friday sharpens up the trough again, and another shot of cold air comes down the pike. 
And uh, again, I'm not so sure we make it out of the 30s uh, and a good, uh, strong north wind. So the two cold days this week will be Wednesday and Friday. And the clipper on Friday seems to be dry, and I guess there might be a few flurries in there Friday morning, but uh, the moisture really, really seems to be lacking for that. Saturday as we start the weekend, it's going to be cold Saturday morning, the low down around 20. Colder spots will visit the upper teens, but the day will be sunny, the high in the mid to upper 40s, and this is Sunday. Uh, the day should be sunny. Start the day in the 20s. The high should be in the lower 50s. And I forgot to show you this. I'm, I should have tucked this in back during the Wednesday snow talk. This is off the Buff Kit. That's an analysis tool for model data. And you can see that uh, 12Z run of the GFS, that blue line. Uh, and this is for Birmingham. Spikes that thing up to, to almost one inch of snow. It's got uh, nine-tenths of an inch of snow here. But other runs are down there in the dusting to, you know, a uh, quarter inch phase. So again, for now, we're just going to mention snow showers, snow flurries, no major accumulation. Let's watch the runs this evening and tomorrow. All right, this is on to Monday of next week. Things continue to warm up. Pretty normal temperatures. The sky's sunny. 30s during the morning, 50s during the afternoon. Uh, hey, a little later next week. This is uh, Wednesday evening of next week. Same deal. Another clipper sharpens up the trough. And guess what? Another shot of cold air. And you can see why we're, we're thinking the theme is just going to be changeable. We get these one-day pops of cold air, and we moderate. But that would suggest another cold pop about the middle part of next week. And this is the end of the forecast on the 29th of January. And it looks rather uneventful, rather chilly, but dry if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.